So I want to go over a couple of quick points here. So along with the different shaft sizes, so you've got the 5 16 diameter button head, and then you've got a 7 16 diameter button head. Same thing with the wing or the, or the flat heads. But along with that, you've also got a depth um, number that you need to be concerned with. And so I've laid a few of these out here loose because um, the depth is important to get your, uh, your spring and your fastener matched up. So if you have um, too long of a stud in there, then when you tighten it down, when this is going to go together like this, well, it's not going to tighten up because you've got too much material in here between the panel and the spring. So I'm just going to show you how to measure this. So, so this spring here, this is an inch and three eighths spring. So it's inch and three eighths on center of those mounting holes. And that's, uh, that's twisted around there for an eighth inch rivet to hold it on. So that rivet would come through this way. And then this is actually, um, called a 400 spring. So this, this spring is 400 deep from this surface to this surface. So if I, if I take these calipers here and I measure this across here, just like that, I'm going to get about 397 or so right at it. So 396, 397. So this is a 400 deep spring. So that's how this is measured from from the, this surface here to this surface here. And then along with that, you have the same number here um, that goes from the bottom of the head to the outermost point of that clip. And so the way this works is this spring starts in here and as you twist this around, it, it's flexing that spring up in there tight. And then it it's gonna go through this little track here. And then you can see how it's got this little hook in the bottom. So it's gonna snap in there and that's what keeps it from coming undone. So this would go together like this and with the tension on it, it would click into place and it's just gonna hold that just like that. And then when you, when you take it loose, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. You see it's gonna pop up out of there and then you quarter turn it and it's out. So this is a quarter turn in and then out. And you can see how this goes together. This, this is much more suited for um, like a thin panel um, but so by the time you put your um, spring and then your material thickness in between it, then when you snap this down, this part of the spring is going to bow and, and flex in and provide the tension to hold those panels tightly together. So you've got to have this stuff matched up and we've got all these different sizes. So when you call our guys and you talk to them about these fasteners, if you just tell them approximately what you're doing, they can get you really close on the, on the depth and the diameter that you need to make this all work. And these work the same way. It's just, uh, you've got the self ejector part of it and then this is gonna twist around in there and that's gonna lock together just like that. So you can see how that's flushed together, but um, see that it's not down tight. So this is gonna allow enough, if I take this loose, there's gonna be enough room for a panel to go in between there. And so these, so that depth, so this is a 400, and then this particular self ejector here, this is a 500 deep, so meaning meaning a half inch. So when I say 500, it's 0 .500. And then like this one, this is a 550. So if you if you kind of look at it from the side, you can see that there's differences in the height. So this is a 550. This would go through a little bit thicker panel than this one would. So if you're going through something nice and thin, and then you have like one of these tabs on there, and then this spring this will snap down and pull up tight where if you have a little bit thicker panel like something maybe with some core in it um, you can use this 550 and along with these same way on these uh, on these studs here they go by the same way so that measurement from there to the spring pocket is going to uh, determine how much panel uh, tension you have um, we're going to get into some tools a little later that i'll show you how to adjust some of this stuff but this is the basics of how this works, and you can see this one is considerably longer than this, so that's going to allow you to go through a much thicker panel and still pull it up tight. So you want to get that pretty close so that you've got some compression on this spring, and you don't want too much where you're trying to pull that up, because what happens is if you get these, um, let's say you get a mismatched here, you've got too short of a stud in here, and then you're trying to fasten it like this, and and it's you're you know you got a, probably too large of a of a 
screwdriver or something here not suited for the job, but you're turning this, now this is an aluminum stud. Well, what's gonna happen is, is it's gonna be tight and you're gonna try to push it in there. These things should go like this. They should click into place and be nice and smooth and snap. You should hear them snap at the end. They should go click like that. Well, if it's too short, so this spring is too deep and you're going through too thick a panel, what happens is you end up blowing this thing out. See, this is just machined in aluminum. Well, this will end up just spreading apart. And even these steel ones will do the same thing. So when you're putting the heat on them, trying to get them tight, um, and they're not adjusted properly, you'll end up spreading this out. And then, then what happens is the uh, it won't want to pop loose from the tab. It's going to get hung on the tab and it won't come loose. See, this is machined at a bevel so that when it pops out, it clears that tab and then it'll slide out with the front end. But if you spread that out, um, if it's one of the steel ones, a lot of times you can just grab it with some... Uh, some pliers and squeeze it back in and line it back up. These aluminum ones, once you do that, these are anodized, so they're usually going to crack because there's only just this little leg right here. But uh, so you got to have these things adjusted properly. And once you get them adjusted right, uh, they they stay in that adjustment area. They're they're gonna. The only thing that's going to affect that is over time vibration and use. Um, you may have to tune them up. You know, halfway through the season, you might have to uh, stretch the spring a little bit to get the tension back. But if you, if you put it on and it's like this, it's, it's too loose, you know, like there's no tension, like you just turn it down and it's sloppy like that. First of all, this thing's gonna fall out because it's just gonna, it, whether you have it on the exterior or interior, it's not gonna hold the panel. It's just gonna vibrate its way out. Same way with these, if these are too loose and you, and you snap it down and it looks like this on the outside, well, what's gonna happen is that thing's gonna turn on the run and it's gonna push its way out. So it has to be snapped tight and down flush. It should look like that when it's snapped. And it shouldn't look like that. So you should push that down in there. And that's why I say you've got to use these tools because a screwdriver is not the proper tool for this because a flat blade screwdriver is cut square on the end and this recess is machined in there like this. So you want to have something that's rounded like this, like this shape right here to go down in there and properly turn that. And um, like a quarter is not the right tool. I see guys all the time pulling a quarter or a nickel out of their pocket and trying to jam it down in there and turn this thing. That is not the right tool for this, okay? So this is the right tool. This is a, a little stainless piece that we made just so you can throw in your pocket and it's real handy. This one fits the smaller Zeus's and this one fits the larger ones. Um, but anyway, just like anything else, use the right tool for the job. There are, uh, there are several different drivers out there for these, but always make sure it's something that's cut, rounded on the end, that, that fits this groove tightly. And that's another thing, that it should be the right thickness here, because if you use something, even though it's got a round cut on it and it's too thin in here, what happens is when you try to turn it, it just burrs up the corners. So you want a tool that fits in there just right, so it's the right thickness for that groove and you got some nice leverage where you can snap that thing tight.